And now on Art Street, an inside view of Art Basel with one of the guiding lights behind this international art event, businessman and art collector Norman Brayman. The Art Street now, this show is, that you're on, is it's going to its ninth season. And so it was about maybe two years before that that I met with you and our general manager you said you need to have an, an art show and I, I, I remember hearing that you told me what it should be and I had never I forgotten that and uh, two years later we had the show which is now nine years old wow. um, in going that's into wonderful. our ninth season that's wonderful so I just want you to know that you were the impetus for art yeah, you, you really make it were special, you really <laughs> were so I don't know if you remember yeah, but you make that, it special but. and it's, it's just an honor for me to always speak to you we just have to do it more often we're sitting here in your magnificent house with your extraordinary art. Your love for art and your love for collecting, can you pinpoint a time when that started or did you always love art? We visited a museum in St. Paul de Vence in France called the Mock Foundation. And after we visited, it really inspired us to, to begin collecting. And that occurred in the, in the early 70s. So we've been collecting for a long time and hope to continue collecting for a long time. <laughs> I'm sure that you will. <laughs> I want to start out, Norman, where it all began was Art Basel. You were in on it, involved with it, actually spearheading it right from the beginning. Can you just well, kind of fill many, us in even, on, even yeah. many year, Even many years before, Norm and I had been attending the fair for 20, 25 years. And we kept telling Lorenzo Rudolph, who directed the Basel Art Fair in Basel, Switzerland, why don't you consider perhaps a second fair six months after the Basel Fair, which is held in June each year. So finally, Lorenzo came to Miami. He saw the community, loved it, and then persuaded the board of Messerschweitz to, hey, let's come to Miami. And uh, fortunately, they, they bought into it. And, 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 and when I say buying into it, they decided to make a huge investment. And the marvelous thing about, uh, about this, there's no government subsidies. There's no taxpayers' dollars that, that, go, that, that go out to subsidize this fair. This fair was brought here by a for-profit making company, a Swiss for-profit making company who made the investment here. But the, the benefits to our hotels, to our restaurants, to our image, to everything in the community, it's truly the equivalent of having a, a Super Bowl here every year, except we don't have to worry about spending $300 million to subsidize it. The, the economic benefits to the community have been profound. What makes a fair successful from a business standpoint or, or if the galleries sell, because it's, it's expensive for the galleries to come here. And they had a very successful uh, uh, fair here last December. It, as I said, it's that collector and gallery, that combination, and that's what makes it a success. But what the galleries do, because of all the attention and the press and everything, they, they, they put prize works away to bring here to, for the fair. So the collectors will, will see works at these fairs that they just can't see anywhere else at any time because all the galleries are together. So they can go from one major gallery to, to whether it's a, an Aquabella or a Gagosian or a, a gallery from, from, from Europe and just see the best of what, what's available in the world. It's almost like visiting a museum as well, a quality museum and seeing the quality of, of, of art that's here. And that's a difficult combination. That's what makes a fair successful. We're not going to duplicate the, the Museum of Modern Art in New York or the Whitney Museum or the Art Institute in Chicago because they're old established cities. But what we're seeing here is the beginning of perhaps being the contemporary art capital of the United States with this wonderful mixture of, of American art coupled with, with Latin American art, you know, reflecting the community itself here. So as a, as a, a so successful businessman, art collector, philanthropist, just activist, or do, do you feel that South Florida is in a greater place than you've ever seen it than when you came here many, many years ago? I think so. Without question, all this contributes to the quality of life of the community, which is important. And the thousands of people that, that visit the fair, this fair has really re remained international. It's not a fad type of fair. You'll see works of art here from Picasso to a young 20-year-old uh, artist who, who has a studio in Wynwood or somewhere in our community, uh, all there in the same building. 
And, and that's what makes it interesting here, that, that it, 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 it cuts across all types of, of, of tastes, all types of interests, both in painting and in sculpture. Can it make an artist, like say an, a Winwood artist that maybe uh, gets I, I, attention? I think, I think an artist that has its work uh, shown at the main fair is certainly an indication that that artist has a degree of importance attached to its work, to his or her work. So the answer is yes, it's a, it's a milestone. I mean, it's a milestone, just as, as it is. It's, 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 being, it's an honor. It, it, it's an honor. It, it, it's also brought subsidiary fairs, auxiliary fairs to our community. That's not the way it is in Basel, Switzerland. But you, but you, have, but you have all these auxiliary fairs that have opened in the design district and sculptural fairs, all centered around Art Basel. So in, in, in the case of this particular fair, I, I honestly believe that the baby has surpassed its parent. I think not only is this the most important fair in the United States, I believe it's the most important art fair in the world. For information on Art Basel, visit artbaselmiamibeach.com.